Community Library, located on the southern edge of Sheffield, was opened by the Lord Mayor of Sheffield, Alderman Percival Kirkman, on the 28th of February, 1963. Although the building is recognisably the same as it was in 1963, the big difference now is that it is run by volunteers. I volunteer at the library. Libraries are something I think is very important for young people, but not only for young people, but also, also for the whole community. Because I've lived in Greenhill most of my life and this building's always been very important to me and I couldn't bear to see it go under. Well, basically my kids came here from an early age and when it was coming up to close, all right, it was a facility that we couldn't afford to lose. In 2013, the City Council announced as a cost-saving measure that it was planning to close a number of its local libraries, including Greenhill. I, I just feel as though the library needs to be here. Absolutely devastated. It's not an exaggeration. Well, um, I've been a resident in this area for 42 years. My children went to the local school and used this library all through their childhood and when it was threatened with closure, really there was only one option. Because reading is my life. I've hardly ever known a time when I haven't had a book in my hand. I was known as the person who said, when I left the library, um, I went home with a bag full of treasure. They're absolutely essential to our communities. My mum used to take me and my little brother to the library. Uh, we used to go all the way up to the one in Totley from where we lived when I was little. And we used to go there to do our homework. We'd go there to get books on a very regular basis. Local residents joined an action group formed by the local MP. We campaigned vigorously and held demonstrations outside the library. We joined with the other libraries under threat to demonstrate outside Sheffield Town Hall and constantly lobbied our local representatives. Although the council refused to continue to operate and staff the library, they did allow it to be run by volunteers. So I'm the volunteer coordinator employed by Sheffield Libraries and Archives Service and my role really is to support the volunteer libraries in, the, in providing a library service to their communities. How important do you think it is that associate libraries remain part of the Sheffield Library system? It's absolutely vital. It's really important that we have a whole city view of the, of the libraries in Sheffield rather than having separated, isolated bunches of libraries here, there, dotted around the more isolated communities. We became one of 11 associate libraries to be established in this way. Following a recruitment drive, the library opened its doors in September 2014 under the control of a nervous but enthusiastic bunch of helpers. Although lending books remains our core business, we have evolved into a community hub for Greenhill. We have set up Chatterbooks, a book club for 8 to 12 year olds, fun time for under fours and story time for preschoolers. Encouraging young people to use the library will establish good habits that will help us to assure our future. For adults, there is help with jobs, a computer club, and a book club to name but a few. The popular People's Network, provided by the Council, allows access free of charge to the internet. This Our monthly is, Friday uh, evening events are a well-supported regular feature and cover a wide range of subjects. The These help our finances whilst bringing to together members of the community. Shoes, string, bananas, your parents, whatever you want to. And somebody said, write a poem about toast. I find it's hard to beat a quick round off. Yes. After a long night's sleep when I wake in the morning, in fact, even when I'm yawning, I can still eat. Yes. Whether you're eight or eighty, man, boy, girl or lady, I bet the Queen loves. Yes. English, Australian, Jamaican, Eurasian, I bet every nation loves. Cheese! One of our biggest events is our farmer's market. We held three of these last year. Down and around, cross into the wall, all heard and we the gaiety of the flute is born. Mr. Dead 
a stow or two, you kept a running dog. A little crooked patty from the Tisbury of the bog. There were boys from every barony and girls from every part of the beautiful Miss Brady's in a private ass and car. And along came them, was bouncing Miss McCafferty. Little Melly Mulligan was all told to the poor. Rose Susanna, Marker of Forafferty, the flower of Armagillion, and the pride of Petra of all. With the two tongue of flute. Our volunteers, who help keep the library open for 26 hours a week, are vital to its running. My main job is doing operating the rotor. I'm the rotor manager, so making sure that we've got the right number of staff on for each each shift. I organise the maintenance team and appoint subcontractors where necessary, liaise with Sheffield City Council. I'm mainly admin, part of the admin team. Uh, I do a lot of work in the back, administration, and looking after donated books, sorting out the ones that are suitable for putting on our yellow sticker system. Our book issues are increasing year on year, thanks mainly to our yellow sticker loan system. This allows our donated books to be loaned and separated from the council stock. These books, which now number well over 2,000, help to refresh and reinvigorate our library shelves. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. We have also set up a bookshop to sell on donated books that are not suitable for issue. What of the future? Our top priority is to stay open, but our longer term vision has greater ambition. Hi, so my name is Will King. I am a sixth year M Arch uh, architecture student at the Sheffield School of Architecture. Um, and I've been delighted to be involved in the Green Hill Community Library project. Um, so we've been involved with uh, the volunteers from the community library to develop a vision for how the library can expand um, and play a bigger role within the local community. The students developed a strategy with phase one highlighting immediate actions designed to improve the running of the library. Subsequent phases included the construction of an additional wing and courtyard to create a true community hub. We have had a lot of positive feedback since the volunteers took over running the library two years ago. The volunteers themselves are the people that work in the libraries. Um, there are benefits for them as well, for the community, for their own well-being. I, I just get out a sense of satisfaction, you know, when I'm dealing with customers and it's just just a nice atmosphere, yeah. Yes, meeting people, um, so the social side to it, and I feel as though I'm, achieve, I'm doing something useful with my time, you know, my free time. Now, it's very rare I come out of my door and don't bump into at least one person uh, that I can actually hold a proper conversation with and this is all due to volunteering in my own community. Well I really enjoy coming, I feel as I'm doing something useful, I enjoy meeting people, the staff are really nice. Well when I retired I needed something to carry on with but and this is something that I, I did as a, in, in my job and it's a, a way of extending that. But I also feel that it's better for the community as well because the whole of the community will benefit from this. I mean, it's a wonderful little area. Um, I've always been interested in helping out and volunteering. Um, uh, I've got various skills. From, my background's in education, um, so working with children has been part of my life um, in all my career. Um, I used to teach in Sheffield schools. Um, so it just seemed a natural thing when they were looking for volunteers and I had the time on my hands. Uh, that I'd come along and offer my services. We've recently received the good news that the council is going to fund us fully uh, for a further year and then about half for another two years. I believe that if everybody contributes what they can, when they can, the library will continue to thrive. If I live as long as my dad, I hope that in 20 years time, using my Zimmer frame, I'll still be able to come down to the library to borrow books and to attend other events. Please contribute what you can, not just for the sake of us oldies, but more importantly, for the sake of the children and for building up the sense of community in this area. Mm -hmm.